Welcome to the Whiskey Folks. I'm Daniel. I am Rex. And Whiskey. Glasses. Today is a gift from Magnificent Bastard, Corey Magrin. Corey Magrin, you Magnificent Bastard. Megrin, Megrin, Megrin? Ma I don't know. M E G R A. Megrin? Megrin? Megrin. Megran? Megran. Megran again? Yes. Megranaham? No. This is a distillery we both like. Atlanta, ASW. Okay. This is one they released called Optic Promise. And the reason is it's made up of two different barleys. Yeah. One is a barley that used to be called Optic. It's renamed something now. Okay. And the other one is Golden Promise, which is the same one that Balconis sure. likes to use, right? Okay. Now this is Optic Promise. Optic that sounds, Promise that sounds very abstract, right? Well, it's two different barleys. Optic Promise. Um, now that I think the barley is known as Spring, not Optic, but New American Oak, unpeated. Yeah. And copper pot. They use pot still, just like. Oh, right? that makes sense. Yeah, there is some. There's some. Density. There's a base quality, a basey quality mm -hmm. to, uh, yeah, some thickness. There's a density that knows it's almost lemon. And then, um, yeah, but lemon's not a dense nose, but it does, no. it does kind of it has that heft down at the bottom. But it'll also, you get some of the, the lighter notes, like a lemon citrusy type or like of thing. lemon candy, like our candied lemons. Yeah. yeah. And then maybe, whoo, like you would with candied ginger. There's stuff going on in here. Oh, that's complexity. Like a little, uh, maybe. It's nice. It's not quite as, like a, it's like a peachy sandalwood? Mm. Peachy sandalwood. I see what you mean. I got to the sandalwood first and yeah, then yeah. the peach. I backed yeah. into the peach from the sandalwood. That's a really nice Yeah. Nice. Wow. So, um, what's the, the what are they recommending? 55.6, so 111. Ooh, okay, I wouldn't have guessed that high. Yeah, me either, if not from the nose. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not, it has a lot of, a lot of flavor and character that's bringing with it, but it's not carrying a lot of alcohol out of the glass. Corey is, before I take my sip, mm -hmm. Corey's a rep, but not for these guys. Oh. And he sent oh. us this because he likes it. Oh. And today I emailed him and said, hey, remember that whiskey you sent us ages ago? Yes. We're going to be drinking it today. Oh, just nice. so you know. Yeah, yeah. It won't air until mid-August yeah. to late August. And he was like, today's my birthday. That was fun to get that email. Happy birthday. It's after your birthday by the time this comes out, but happy birthday. So probably 22, because he was old enough to get this bottle yeah, yeah. and send it to us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's also a, a little bit of a craft cola note. Mm. Yeah, I see what you mean by that. That's really nice. Uh, we, so Very pretty. We, we kind of move the camera over here just to make sense. Yeah, it's a little weird. I keep wanting to look over here. Oh, me too. My eyes I keep, keep ref referencing right. that light and then dropping I keep down. keep angling this way, but we're over here now. Yeah. We should, we should angle this way, even though Dan just set it up over there, just, and just spend the whole episode like this. <laughs> like, I mean, way disproportionately. Yeah, because this is... Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so... So good. It's really good. What yeah. do you think, Dan? You I'm like just, this thing? I'm just excited that people can see me from head to toe now. Yeah, is that what you were going complete, for this whole time? Complete package. Mm, okay. Now they can really assess the situation accurately. How is accuracy what you're going for? Healthy and virile I am. Yeah, that's what it is. Virile. So what are your thoughts on uh, testosterone replacement therapy? I never heard of it. Did you get lower testosterone as you get older? No. I just, from, the, like, I'm, I'm sure I'm fine. But all of the people that are taking TRT, they're reading all of these benefits. They're, they're reading off all the benefits. Having it's like extra testosterone? Lots of energy. Like go get him this, and you know, like man, all this it sounds, sounds exhausting. No, it sounds great. Oh, lots of energy. It's like constant hard ons. Oh, constant. Geez. You That's, can't get rid of them. It sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so uncomfortable. Oh, it's a little sour at the end of that. Like very, very, very end. There's this little tinge that's maybe citrus sour. You see what I mean? No, oh. sour is the wrong word. Ooh, I like it, man. Me too. I'm gonna Zesty, say. Maybe? I'm gonna say it's there's some type of pastry note. Ice. Some type of bread. Okay. Yeah, bread with, with a lot of uh, it's like a a sugary sourdough bread, mm -hmm. and then some orange peel pith. Some maybe if you, citrus pith. Maybe That's, if you made cinnamon toast from sourdough bread. What? But the cinnamon is really low. That's it's crazy. That's crazy. It's tasty though. Yeah. I like this one. Mm -hmm. I like it. So I'm not I doing, like what ASW is doing. I'm not doing TRT, but I ordered these, there's, there's like these pills 
right? And there's some type of <laughs> South American jungle extract from a plant, mm. right? And so, okay, I don't know. You are way more risky with random ingestion no. of pills than I no. am. The label is professionally done. <laughs> they went to 99 Designs and opted I'm for the sure platinum level. It's fun. Graphic. So this is why you put on like an extra 20 pounds. So you can absorb in case it's shady? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like, spent two years developing an, a tolerance for iocane powder, <laughs> odorless, and tasteless. <laughs> That's it's a health maneuver, right? You yeah, just fill yeah. Your, fill it's your like, body with pure garbage. So yeah. By the time something sketchy comes along, it's like, oh, I got this. <laughs> yeah. I can absorb the impact. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're if you're like a Brianna, yeah, like ninety pounds soaking wet and four foot nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You, you Take catch a, a sip of something. You catch the wrong breeze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Uh, so that's really nice. It's really super good. I like the hell out of it. I'm trying to remember desperately the first time I had the because you mentioned we liked them. Yeah, we how had, long ago we was had that? four or five from Atlanta. Really? We, Burns Night was one of them. Oh, the smoky yeah. one. Yeah, We've yeah, had. Okay. Yeah. Um, gosh, there's been oh, quite a few. Mm -hmm. uh, read the comments and I'll look for a reminder. Ooh, that's see nice. here. Oh, there's Burns Night. Yeah, yeah. You know what it is? And what the hell is the category? Just single malt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. American single malt. It's not. There, there's a lot of whiskeys that feel very samey. Like, ah, I've had this dozens of times. Yeah. This is... It's a ton thing. It, but it's still recognizably single malt. Yeah, still definitely. But oh. it's, a, it's, it's its own angle on single malt. Do you hear that we're making prog... By we, I mean, I didn't do any of it. The American Single Malt Commission, which we are a member of, yeah. uh, is making progress on getting laws adjusted for the creation of a single malt category in American whiskey yeah. that allows for used oak and things like that. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so right? clearly defined parameters. Pre so, but so people know what they're getting, but also a lot of freedom, flexibility to do interesting uh, stuff. Jared's been involved in this, so it wouldn't eliminate finishing. Jared would allow age from statements. Buck yeah. Yeah. Kern Ormond. Ormond was watching an old Whiskey Tribe episode, and I think a return of the whiskey thinking cap is needed. That was that one where the duct taped hair and a bog cap with things shining, dangling off of it. Yeah. That was terrible. I think there was some human hair on that. No, your human hair from the bastarding about Bastard's Bowl. Oh. Bonus points to get Daniel to actually drink from the cap. Oh, God. Can you imagine? I can imagine. Can yeah. you imagine? Oh, no. Uh... Oh. X. Oh, it's got Apple X Goosebumps. Jack X. <laughs> I just got chills thinking about drinking out of that cap. <laughs> uh, losing a friend, I have decided to cut ties with a 10 year friendship that started in high school mm. after receiving a photo of the whiskey bar that I didn't have the pleasure of going to. <laughs> not only did I not get the pleasure to go, but I didn't even get an invite. He thought just because I was across the great nation, I wouldn't travel the grueling trip. That friend truly does not understand you and your commitment yeah. to the cause. That's true. Kick him to the curb. I think you need to make the grueling trip right. and drink all his whiskey while he's at work. Well, yeah, this is what you do. You just you show up late at night and then you find the bedroom window and you're just outside the bedroom window and you just kind of tap on the window, scratching at it. <laughs> yeah. And then he lifts up the curtains and then just look him right in the eyes. Don't emote. Just stare him in the eyes until he gets really weird. And then... He runs around to the front door to let you in, and by that time you're gone. Okay. So he's freaked out. Did I just see my guy? Just like, wait a minute, that looked a lot like my friend. He goes to work the next day. You break into his house. Then you steal all the whiskeys. This is elaborate. No, oh, this is. You're gonna have to drive because you need to be able to get the whiskeys back, and you can't fly with that many open bottles. Right. And then you take a photo of you partaking of all of his whiskeys. Yeah. And then it's like, hey, if you would have invited me, I would have invited you. You bitch. Yeah. This didn't have to happen. <laughs> we didn't have to go here. Yeah. That's nice. That's good. Yeah. And I haven't liked everything from these guys, but we like them as a distillery. Right. And this is maybe my favorite one I've tried from them so far. So one of the things that jumps out at me is the, the overall experience. This is craft. It's but definitely craft. craft done very well. Yes. This is not a kind of single malt I would get from a giant brand. You wouldn't mistake this for scotch. No. But you would immediately know this is American craft malt. American craft malt, but uh, American craft but malt good. done very well. Yeah. And I have not have a, had a giant brand doing, you know, any kind of American malt that comes across like this. I like it. It's yeah. super good. Me too. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal, your lover's And if you drink, May it, that was... I was like so, like two feet short. I'll get you some of those pills though. Okay, that'll do it. Gusto is what'll give you the hard-ons. <laughs> May you drink with us. <laughs>